Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm here to do a book review on The Harp of Kings by Juliet Morillier. In the US this book actually came out at the very beginning of September and I decided to pre-order it actually and I picked it up right away. Um, I've heard a lot of high praise for this author and so I felt like I was kind of missing out and then I saw that she had a new book coming out and at first I was a little worried because this kind of takes place after one of her series finishes and it follows I guess a similar universe or at least that's what I've been told and um, I was a little worried that I wouldn't understand everything I'm sure there's a few things that were lost on me I'm, I'm guessing that was probably true but as a whole this stands alone and from what I understand you didn't have to have a lot of background on this author to pick this book up so you can be like me and just blindly jump in to this new series of hers I really ended up enjoying this book a lot in my book reviews I usually talk about three things that I appreciated about the book and then three things that I thought could have been improved on and that I would hopefully maybe if it's a series like to see improved on in the future. And so I'll go ahead and start with the positive things and the things I enjoyed about this book. A little background on the plot. This follows three main characters. This is actually a multiple perspective book. Every chapter alternates between a different character and luckily we only had three characters to keep track of I'm not a big fan of multiple perspective when it, there's a lot of characters to keep track of such as in a series like Game of Thrones um, I, I don't really enjoy that reading experience three characters felt manageable the three main characters that we follow are Levon Brock and Dow Levon and Brock are related they are brother and sister the main character here is really Levon, and you see her on the front cover there. Brock is her younger brother, and Brock is first and foremost a fantastic musician. Brock is described as being a musician with unparalleled skills. He is just fantastic, and everyone stops to listen to him when he plays the harp and sings. Levon is also a musician. She is a whistle player and a singer and she's very good at it she's an expert whistle player however her burning desire in life is to become an elite warrior on swan island and so she and her brother are basically on this island training to become elite warriors and not everybody gets picked um they're kind of competing against some other people enter our third character which is dao and dao is one of their competitors on the island he is sort of a brooding, mysterious young man, and he's not really friends with them at the beginning of this book. They are, they're not buddies. And Dao has basically no musical skills whatsoever. He's just a warrior. He wants to fight. He wants to beat people up. That's his thing. These three characters are brought together when they are all three chosen to work together on a mission. They are sent on a mission to go and retrieve this missing harp. It's called the Harp of Kings that's the title and the harp of kings is a very very special instrument it has some um, maybe possibly magical qualities to it and when it is played at the coronation of the next king the people basically just accept that king without question they're just like okay that guy is the king because this harp said so to me this plot was a little bit weird and uh, kind of weak in that regard but that's how we start our adventure. They are all brought together so that they can find this missing heart. All right, let's get into what I liked about this book. I think first and foremost, what stood out to me was the really excellent and beautiful writing. Everything was really clear. I was never confused at any points because of writing choices. Everything is laid out pretty well. Um, it's very atmospheric. We get a sense of being in a forest and lost in a forest. We get some really just well-written descriptions of our surroundings. We get kind of like this dark and gritty feel for being in a forest with some mysterious things. There are some mysterious antagonists in this book that we don't learn very much about, but they are pretty sinister, I thought. And so 
in the next books in the series, I'm sure we will explore those um, sinister creatures a little bit more. But as someone who's jumping into Juliet Morellier's writing for the first time, I did think her writing was really beautiful. Something else I really enjoyed about this book was a really different setting than I'm used to for a fantasy novel. This is an Irish Celtic fantasy and I haven't really read any books set in that world so that was really refreshing and different. The third thing I liked about this book is that there is an element of fae in this book. Um, that's also not something I read a lot. I don't read a lot of books with fairies and fae and in general. I don't know why. I don't have anything against them. I just haven't really read those books. and. I found that world to be really interesting in this book. My only complaint is I wish it had been more prevalent. I'm guessing it's going to be though going forward in the series. And then the last thing that I thought was really strong with this book was the character development. We get to know each character really well, first because we are inside their heads in every other chapter. We're always alternating. and learning more about the character and I thought they were just really real and believable characters you know they they just were really well fleshed out because we get to be in their heads in every chapter we also get to see the things that they struggle with and we learn about their backstories um, what their fears are going forward um, how different events affect them oh and one more thing I almost forgot about this one but this is sort of a silly little detail that maybe most people wouldn't notice, but I did. I really liked how this book portrayed musicians. I'm a musician myself. I'm a professional flutist. I'm a music teacher and I've done my share of performing. I perform very often and I know what it's like to perform to give that part of yourself. And what was so cool about this book is that they are musicians who really do think like musicians. So you could tell that the author actually knew about music and she actually knew what it's like to be a musician and what a musician would be thinking. So that's a little detail in the book that I just really appreciated because I really just like it when authors pretend to know something about music and kind of assume that they would know what a musician's life is like and it annoys me because it's usually incorrect. <laughs> so I just thought this was a super realistic portrayal of actual musicians and what goes on in a musician's head. All right, now let's get into a few things that I thought could have been improved about this book. First of all, I thought the plot was a little weak. I felt like the plot was just an excuse to get us to a certain place and that's fine, but I didn't think the plot was very interesting. It was probably the slowest thing about the book. It was slow to develop. Um, we didn't super care about the plot until maybe a little more towards the end. It was just kind of a, an excuse to get these characters together and for them to have an adventure and explore other things that are happening in the universe. Um, the plot ended up in the end just not feeling super important. Um, so that was kind of a little bit disappointing. Another thing you should know about this book going in, it is a really slow burn kind of book. It takes a long time to feel like you're in it with the characters and to kind of know why you're in it. For a long time I just I didn't know why I should care and where it was going and we are mostly kind of just in the characters head at the beginning. We're learning a lot about their backstory and there's not a lot of action and so if you really need that action to drive you forward as a reader you might find yourself a little bit frustrated with this book. This next thing is sort of a minor detail but depending on who you are it, it could be an issue. Um, there is an instance of some animal, animal abuse and that was really hard for me to read. It was um, not just like a small thing, it was like a big thing. It was supposed to be a tragic and terrible thing but for me it was just like ugh why did you have to put that in there? So that's maybe a personal thing but I thought it was an important thing to know because it, it was something that really saddened me and affected me as a reader. My last small complaint that I have is that there weren't enough scenes where we have interactions with the fae world. There are a few here and there and they are sort of a sort of a big deal in the, the plot in the end but we just didn't get to spend a lot of time with them and I had to just really wish that we had gotten to see that world a little bit more. I have a feeling that world is going to be developed a whole lot more in the next books. Overall I ended up rating this book four stars. I 
did enjoy myself while reading this. I will be continuing in the series. I thought it was compelling enough and interesting enough to push me forward. I have a lot of questions. This book definitely raises more questions than it answers, which is okay because it's the first book in a series and we assume that we are going to get those answers. And this is an author that's super loved. Um, I don't think this is probably one of her strongest books, so I'm not sure that I would recommend starting here. I'm gonna have to read her other series so that I have a better um, grasp of that. But I did enjoy myself while reading this book and I am interested to see what happens next. So those are all of my non-spoilery thoughts about The Harp of Kings by Juliet Merlier. I definitely do recommend picking it up if this sort of thing interests you. Um, I am going to be continuing in the series. I'm really interested to see where this story goes. Let me know if you've picked it up. Have you read it? Are you interested in reading it? Um, chat with me down below about some of your thoughts if you have read it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. Keep reading great books and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.